You know, a lot has happened since the last video I posted a couple of days ago about the uh, Mavic Pro, asking you guys what you think. Because uh, for me, it was all about the camera and all that good stuff. If you haven't heard, which I'm sure you have, DJI has announced they are releasing the Phantom 4 Pro. Hmm. What does that mean? Let's take a look. What do you need for incredible aerial imaging? A brilliant camera, an aircraft you can trust, and the intelligence to make every shot cinematic. I'm with you, so far. The Phantom 4 Pro camera has an f2.8 aperture, mechanical shutter, and large one inch sensor. Hello, that is huge. Record cinematic 4K video at higher bit rates with more advanced compression and a wider dynamic range. I am so excited about this thing. <clears throat> Two things have happened with this quad. Number one, they got that sensor larger. And what does that mean? A larger sensor means it has more light gathering capability. The reason why that's great is because you can shoot in lower light without having to jack up the ISO to, you know, 800 or 1600, which to be honest with you, the Phantoms to date, four and three, at about 800, you know, they started to become almost unusable. The noise that was produced in the footage, I never shot over 400. Even if I was in low light and almost dark, that would 400 for me because that way the uh, the noise stayed down. At least I had a crisp or clean image. Um, but with that large sensor, much larger sensor, um, you're able to shoot at a much lower ISO in lower light. The other thing is the bit rate of that sensor, and this is what's exciting. 4K at 100 megabits. Up until now, the P3 and the P4 shot at about 60 megabits. While that isn't uh, what I would call low, usual broadcast quality uh, footage is shot at 50 to 100 megabits. When you're talking about 4K, you know, the image is so large that 60 megabits is spread out quite a bit, you know? If you're gonna get 100 megabits, uh, that's even better. That means more quality. The camera is taking in more info every second that it's looking and recording uh, versus 60 megabits per second. It's you know, it's literally almost almost half. Now it's got other features too. I'm not going to go through the whole video because it, you guys can see that it's online and I think that's kind of boring for me just to post a video where I look at the video that you can look at. So, um, But the other important feature, obstacle avoidance in five different directions. Obstacle avoidance. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, so maybe I care. Obstacle avoidance in five directions is awesome. Having it only in the front was cool, but I mean, it's a quadcopter, you know? I mean, it, it can go left, right, backward, forward, and looking below, that, um, that's incredible. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna hold off. I am not gonna get the Mavic. The Phantom 4 Pro, that really looks uh, incredible. They've been listening to their users because this is probably one of the biggest complaints that I started seeing um, early on with the Phantom 3. It was like, yeah, oh, great, you know, 60 megabits per second, you know, it's a GoPro. And they were right to some extent. Um, even though you could get great results from it, it's, uh, I still have my Phantom 3 and I love it. It's a fantastic bird, it really is. And the camera does, does great for what it is. Anyway, those are my comments. Let me know what you guys think. Phantom 4 Pro, is it worth it? You gonna go with the Mavic? I mean, they both have their pluses. They really do. The portability of the Mavic cannot be beat, period. Can't be beat. But the quality of the Phantom 4 Pro, one inch sensor, 100 megabits, that's pretty incredible, I think, so. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and give me a like if you don't mind. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you real soon. Have a great day.